，这个多久？好久。故宫我来了 ，Welcome to China。Welcome to China News Service. Today we invite Evan Kiel to come here to have a talk. In recent days, he's very popular on internet. So I collect some questions from the internet. People are very interested in him. So let's have a talk. 你好，大家好。The story began with the album. How did you get the photo album? So it was sent to me.、Um, I opened my business, St. Louis Park Gold and Silver, in Minnesota in 2021. I was apprenticing under somebody else, and long story short, they were an old person that didn't understand how technology worked. I started making videos about the industry itself, and it got popular. And the guy wanted me to shut it down, so I went off on my own. And after a year and a half of doing that, somebody reached out to tell me they had an old book of photos from World War II, and they wanted to sell it to me. The last time I spoke with him was in mid-September of 2022. And it was after I paid him. So what ended up happening was I paid him out of pocket. I don't know what this book is worth, and frankly, it's not even about the money at this point. It belongs in a museum. I want to give it to China. When I donated this book, suddenly everybody in China is calling me this embodiment of peace and peace between the United States and China. And I'm a private citizen, but I have a long-term goal here. My mission here is to build a lasting bridge of peace. Yeah, it was a long flight, but I'm glad I'm here. I have appreciation for old things, and I'm standing here. One of the oldest, most important historical structures on Earth, the Forbidden City. That's my favorite thing I've seen so far. It's so pretty. I mean, this whole place is a giant work of art. The colors, the painting, the decoration, the architecture. I would recommend people in the West come here and visit and check it out. They portray it in the media in the West like it's really dirty. That's totally not true at all. I went to the Great Wall. I went to the Temple of Heaven. I went to a market to see how Chinese people, you know, live. We're going out to some restaurants. We had some traditional food. Many people come to China as they go to the famous places, but you go to the fruit market. You know, I'm here to experience the culture and get to know the people better. One, I love that you can try before you buy. Because you can't do that in America, and and I had some really good fresh fruit. It's really expensive in Minnesota to get a dragon fruit. A dragon fruit in Minnesota would probably cost you about 100 to 150 RMB, and you guys just kind of commonly have it here. Like all the, all the clothes I'm wearing, these are all brand new, and I would have spent so much more buying these in America than buying them here. And frankly, I mean, I think the the clothing options here are better. When you go somewhere,、uh, many people ask you to take photos together. So how many people do you think you have、Quite. to take photos together with? I bet I have. Met and taken photos with low end at least 1,500 people、yeah. in a week since getting here. If you see me on the street, I want to make you happy. You know, you're making me happy by inviting me here. I want to make you happy with a photo. A few times it's turned into like suddenly I have like 50 people and then it's 100 people and then it's like if I stand, I could stand here all day. Ready? Three, two, two and a half, <laughs> two and three quarters, and peace. peace. Yeah. Oh wow, that's beautiful! Like different kinds of dragons, long. I love crows.、Uh, in America, crows have a negative connotation, and but crows here obviously are good luck. And I really, really like crows. Fun fact about crows: Did you know crows recognize human faces and they hold grudges? So don't ever make a crow angry. I have finished today with the Temple of Heaven. It was one of the most beautiful structures I've ever seen in my life. I'm so privileged to have been here. I got to make my wish. I wished for global peace. Hopefully, that becomes a reality. Yesterday in the car, we ordered a pizza. How do you feel about the delivery apps in China and also the delivery robots? I love them. I love them so much. It, the first time I had one delivered, I opened the door and I'm like, "What? What am I looking at?" And I, I, I you know, it's, it's, you know, it said, "Open me up."、I'm、like, okay, okay. So I click the button and it opens up and I, there's a video of me. I followed it. I was like, "Where's this thing going?" And it, I followed it out of the hotel. It just blew me away. It's super cool. So far, I'm having the best trip of my life here, and this, this country has been so hospitable to me since I've arrived. It really warmed my heart. I've told my parents that they need to come with me, and I've also I told my friends. I said, "You guys got to come with me on one of these trips. You guys will have a lot of fun." I'm inviting everybody else in the West, especially in America, to come here and check it out and experience this country for yourself. Not fall into the slant of the media and what they try and sell you on with how scary it is. It's not scary. I'm having a great time. You know, if you see me on the street, feel free to walk up and say hello.、Uh, the kindness I've received here has been unforgettable. This is only just the start of good things to come.